Well, it's an exciting time at CSN. Six new programs are launched, two of them being bachelor's degrees in environmental sciences. With the fall semester set to begin on August 29th, I went to learn more about the new programs. is launching six new programs, two of them being degrees, bachelor degrees in applied sciences. We're hanging out here today at Papco Trailhead in Henderson with the great Dr. Sims. Doctor, great to be with you. Thank you very much. First of all, tell us about these two bachelor degrees in applied science. Yeah, the first program that we're launching is called Environmental Conservation. It's designed to get a student from the classroom to the job. It's a biology track degree. Uh, senior level and again they're going to go through the program it's a four-year degree they're going to do exactly what a biologist does every day uh, with what we call the applied uh, science side they're going to be getting their hands dirty with biologists they're going to work with the u.s fish and wildlife the bureau of uh, land management bureau of reclamation they're going to learn what a biologist is so that when they graduate they're going to have the connections as well because they're going to be working with industry so that they can get a job relatively quick if not before graduation wow and right now you guys do actually have a hundred percent success rate getting these jobs after college. So tell us, having the hands-on experience, why is that so critical for getting that job afterward? Uh, it's very critical today that uh, a person comes out of college with all the skills or most of the skills required of industry. Yeah. I'm, an, I'm a, an example, I'm a, a prior industry uh, leader. We had a, a company that I, I own, a, a large one, where we wanted people to come out of college into our jobs and we spent two to four years training them the skills that they did not learn yeah. actually in college. So our program is designed to get those graduates the skills before they graduate, making it an easier transition to industry. And talk about some of the research opportunities because it's research heavy. Yeah, we actually have a lot of research opportunities within our school. We bring in a lot of grants that fund students. Generally, we were able to cover their tuition and books and some extra money. We get them involved out here like in the Las Vegas wash. They're actually taking samples looking for contaminants, emerging contaminants such as drugs, plasticizers. So the students are learning how to write a proposal, how to do sampling, how to analyze, how to interpret data, yeah. how to write up a project, present at a conference, write a paper and get it published. And let's talk about why are we here today in this specific area? Uh, this area is one location of a large global project that we were involved with. We sampled 258 rivers globally as a team. We were just one aspect of it. And we actually looked out here for drugs that were in the water, all kinds of drugs from codeine to, to marijuana. Wow. And so our students were involved in taking those samples, sending them off to the University of York where they were processed and the paper was generated from. Okay. And lastly, the other great thing about this is the diversity. How many women are in this program? Can you speak a little bit about that? Oh yeah, right now uh, our primary audience is, is female-based. Minority based. Uh, so we have a, a very large, uh, an underrepresented population coming into the sciences, which has historically been uh, dominated by men. So there's a lot of opportunities for young ladies to come into our program, get through it, and actually get a job out there. The jobs are endless. They're, we're the second fastest growing globally, only behind medical. Medical is the fastest. We're the second fastest. Okay, see, it's a hot new field. Dr. Sims, great being Thank with you. you. Much. Guys, for more information, check out csn.edu. Two new bachelor degree programs that are happening in applied science. Well, the fall semester begins at CSN on August 29th, but you can register now through September 4th. For more information, just visit csn.edu.